Hi, I'm Dale from Indie Indie Reviews, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Maino USB microphone. Dale from Indie Indie Reviews. Um, again, this is the, the, the Maino microphone. Um, I think it is uh, PD100U. It's a really good microphone. I started using it about eight, nine months ago. Um, I, th I believe after I did the review of this microphone right here. Zio Sound. And if you if you know anything about me, um, and, and I'm pretty sure I, I, I say that because I've mentioned it on, on many reviews, is that I actually prefer dynamic microphones over condenser microphones, which is why um, I don't really use the Zio Sound too much. I use it um, for like Zoom calls or duo calls or re video conferences which is the reason why I got it. And, you know, I even said that when I reviewed the um, Zero Sound microphone. I'll actually leave a link um, up top for you to watch that video if you're interested. But the reason why I prefer dynamic microphones is because the low sensitivity noise that they pick up. I remember on one video, I was actually recording a video and my kids were in the background screaming. But because I was using this microphone right here, which is dynamic, you really couldn't hear them in the background. And I think that's why I've always kind of preferred I mean, microphones, um, even if you watch any kind of podcast or, you know, on YouTube or Spotify, most podcasters use dynamic microphones because of that reason alone. Now, I will say some podcasters, for the most part, are probably in a controlled environment, like a studio of some sort or a room, so they can really control the noise in the room. But I think still because of the low um, background noise th that you get from the dynamic microphones, people will still prefer to use them. Now, this mic right here specifically, um, it's 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 forty two bucks on Amazon. It's a it's a great mic, um, it, as you can hear for yourself. Um, I've used it on many different videos. If you go to my videos in the past, you can definitely um, see, you'll see the microphone right like right the logo right there. <laughs> so you can, so you really can't you know you, you know there's, there's the arcing with that or disputing it. I think before this video goes, before this video comes to an end, I will actually plug up the Zio Sound to kind of give you um, a good idea of, of what it sounds like. I think the Zio Sound is a good microphone, and in the videos that, that I've used recording with it, you always see that I, I, I'm always holding it. I'm always holding it, and the reason I do that is because when I'm recording on a condenser microphone, I keep the gain low so that it doesn't pick up background noises. Now with these, you can turn the gain all the way up. And that, that doesn't really matter. So I think that's kind of really the reason why I've always preferred dynamic microphones over condenser microphones. Now, we, me and my wife have a podcast about this love. I'll leave, leave a link to that in, in the description below. But when we first started doing our podcast, we had we had some cheap, um, like, like cheap um, church type dynamic microphones. And then we kind of transitioned to condenser microphones. And then we kind of um, transitioned from that back to the dynamic microphones. And so I think that, you know, all, all in all, the microphones are wonderful. They do a, a great job. If you're recording YouTube videos, podcasts, if you're vlogging, the wonderful thing about this microphone right here is it's USB. I can actually plug it up to my phone and still have a good sounding quality. That's why I love it so much, you know. Um, even with the Zeo Sound microphone, um, because it's all it is also a USB microphone, um, you can plug it up to your phone. Even in the video that I, I I did of the Zeo Sound, I showed a video of me um having it hooked up to my Pixel um, Four, and I was recording a video you know, on my Pixel using the Zeo Sound microphone. So these USB microphones are, are wonderful because if you're somebody who does um, um, mobile content, whether it's TikTok or um, Instagram Live, you can just plug up your microphone. Um, to your phone, and they have the, 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 the um, different adapters for iPhone or Android, whatever you have. Or you can use a, you can use a tablet. You can use a um, Android tablet, um, um, iPad, or or Amazon uh, Max, which is the Amazon's um, a tablet Fire tablets, which I also have one of those too. So these USB microphones are they're just so dynamic. They're you can use them for a range of different applications. Um, right now, of course, I have it plugged up to my PC. I just, I, just, I just wanted to do a review. I had been using this microphone for about eight, nine months now, and I realized that I had never reviewed it. I don't know why. I think I just, I don't know, you know, I just, I just didn't really think about it, you know. Again, this is the, is it, is it Mayano? 
PD 100 U. Um, it will be the title will be in the in the description if you want to get it. Can I won't leave a link in the description because I feel like you can just copy the um, title and put it in Amazon and, and you'll find the microphone. I, I'm I'm kind of trying to um, steer away from leaving linking items in my uh, um, description because those companies are not paying me to, to advertise their equipment. Now people will say, "Well, you but you're reviewing it." Yeah, I'm reviewing it because I, I purchased the microphone and I like it. You know, but um, if, if if man don't wants to uh, sponsor your boy with a few microphones so for free for doing this video, hey, I'm I'm up for it. I definitely take it. Just let me know. I'll see my address. <laughs> but um, again, real quick before I go, plug up the um Zeal Sound just so you can get a good idea of how they sound. It's actually, here why I prefer one over the other. This here, this is the Zeal Sound microphone that I have right now. As before, um, you can kind of he hear it for yourself. See how it sounds. Hear the difference. Um, if, I don't know if you prefer this or the Mayano um, PD100U. Kind of up to you. Um, as I said before, I always always hold it. You know, <laughs> it, it it doesn't have a stand. I guess you could uh, you could mount it to an arm. I've done it before. You know, but let me put it right here real quick so you can kind of get a good idea of how it sounds if, if I put it down. Right now, it's probably about eight to ten inches away from me on my desk, and just to kind of get a good idea how it sounds. And really, idealistically, if people were to use this, I'm assuming that this is how they would use it because I'm sure they don't want that um, in the in the video. I, I've talked to some people who actually um, prefer conditioner microphones, and they've actually said I don't want the microphone like, in in the video. So, and you know, I understand. Um, I think that for those kind of applications, you would be forced to probably use a noise um, gate or a, a, a noise reducer um, plug-in. In post production, you know, if you're editing before you put them on YouTube, if it's live, you have to just deal with the fact that there's going to be a lot of background noises or be in an environment that's quiet. So, this is how it sounds. Let me pick it back up so you can kind of again hear how it sounds when it's close to my mouth. But, like I said before, I prefer dynamic microphones over conditional microphones. This is a condenser microphone, and again, it is USB as you can see. And, you know, I think years ago. I think years ago, USB microphones weren't really as popular as they are now. And I think they've, they've become popular because if you're somebody who wants to get into content creation, all you need is a, is a laptop or a Chromebook or, or, or a MacBook, and you can definitely record with this and some headphones. But as, as before, if you wanted to use a microphone that had, a, had an XLR connection, you had to get an um, audio interface. And I think a lot of people, it was like an a, a, a additional cost that you really don't have to have anymore because of technology. You know, it's just it's advanced. Years ago, when I first started DJing and getting into recording uh, applications, I, I'm, I'm sure USB microphones did not exist because I, I even looked um, um, years ago. It was probably like 10, 12 years ago I looked and they were nowhere to be found. And if they were, it was, it was so rare to find them that, again, you couldn't find them. So again, Dale from any, any reviews, Hope you like the video. Please subscribe, like it, and um, share it. Until next time, peace.